Now Imran Khan, the skipper, comes back on at the members' end. And eventually he got it. Looked as though he'd tripped in going for the catch. Away to his left, that's Akib Javed. Imran takes the wicket. Mark Taylor has gone after a brave innings. And Australia three down. What a turnabout. What a fine piece of bowling. He tested him out early on and Mark Taylor put him away for four. This time it's a fraction quicker and not quite as wide. It was not quite as wide of the off stump forced Taylor to hit a bit straighter. And Akib there at mid-on moving across, taking the catch and all of a sudden Australia have lost three wickets quickly and Pakistan back in this match. Taylor out for a magnificent 52. A lot of courage from Mark Taylor at three for 98. Uh, Dean Jones is the new batsman coming out to join skipper Alan Border. And Dean Jones is a nervous starter, we all know that. I'm not quite sure why he's got a silly point and I would have thought a third slip would have been the go. There's two slips and a gully, a short leg and a silly point. Imran Khan to Dean Jones. Beautifully bowled. That was quick and it was good and it's done the trick again. One thing you can say about Dean Jones, he's pretty predictable with both bowls just outside of the, the off stump. He will play as he did against Richard Hadley. This time he gets plenty of bat onto this. Look where he is, him, and right close to the stumps. There's the line. It cuts in. Whoa. Jones gets a thick edge. Through it goes. It's four for 98. And what a turnabout. What a test match. 356 wickets for Imran Khan. A duck for Jones. And it's all happening at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. There wasn't much in uh, Wazim Akram's effort for the hat-trick and Imran was close to it as well.